Hello guys, welcome to Plus Equal. Today I will show you how to use serialized field. That in my opinion is something super useful in for every project that you have. And it's not much different from something to we, that we already created here. So if you watch the tutorial about changing the game object transform, we created uh, this script right there and we assign it to the share. So let's go to the share and we can see here that we have the initial position of our share and we set this to 2, 1 and 2. In order to create this, we made this variable public. Let us go to Visual Studio and we have our variable public right here, initial position. Now, serialized field is really useful because we might want this variable to be private and whenever you have something like this, by default, you don't need to to write private it's one way to do it but you don't have to if we have this private or without anything this will be by default private as well let's save this and now if we go back into unity we will not have this here but what if we want to have our variable private and still change it in the inspector well that's when serialized field is very very useful we go here Let's open up these parentheses or brackets as you wish and let's put serialize field. Uh, if it's like this color, it's okay. Still, our variable is private, but with this little piece of code here, we can access the variable in the inspector. So let's save. Let's go back to Unity. And we have here our initial position as well. Just from changing this from public to serialized field, but we will remain the variable private. Let's do something here. Let's try to change it to so this position. Will be more or less minus five. So let's change this to minus five. Minus five. And let's keep uh, that one. Actually, let's change this to, for example. Minus six. And now let's get our share back to this side. But when we hit play, the share sh should be here. So let's hit play. And we can can't see it on the camera here, but we can see that the share spawned right there. Maybe we need to change the camera a little bit. So I'll pick the camera. Align with view. Hit play. And bang, we have our share right there. So serialized field have this advantage of displaying uh, something in the inspector so we can change here and don't go to code every time just to change a few values. This will be even more useful when we have tons of variables instead of just one. And that's why serialized field is so important to learn early in game development, in this case for Unity and C Sharp. So I hope you guys learn how to use serialized field for your projects, put it to good use and as always thank you a lot for watching, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Stay cool and thanks for watching.